hickory dickory dock. The mouse went up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse went down. Hickory dickory dock. Hi everybody, it's Miss Stacy. I'm here to show you how to do this directed draw lesson of a clock and a mouse. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. You're gonna need a white sheet of paper, a pencil, and a Sharpie. And I used my crayons to color uh, my clock and mouse. And um, we'll talk about that in a little bit. So let's get started with our drawing. The first thing you're gonna do is you're going to draw some straight lines up and down on the paper, starting right about here on the page and then bringing that line down as straight as you can. And then start over here and bring another line all the way down as straight as you can. Okay? Now, if you get if it gets wavy or it's not how you like it, remember you can always erase it and go back and do it again, okay? Now, we need a line across here, a horizontal line that goes all the way across, right like that. So you're it's forming a rectangle up here and a rectangle down here. In this rectangle, you're gonna make a circle. Take your time. Okay. And then we're gonna put a circle up here in the corner and another circle here and one here in all four corners. Okay, and inside that circle, put another little circle. Okay, we're gonna put lines that connect. One, two, three, and four. And this kind of gives it a fun decorative trim inside that piece where the clock is located. So in our nursery rhyme, the clock strikes one. So we're gonna make it one o'clock. So in the center of that circle, draw a dot and then draw a line straight up and stop. Give it an arrow. And then from that circle, angle it up. Don't go as far out. Stop and give it an arrow. And there it is, it's one o'clock. Now, every grandfather clock has a chime inside it. It's kind of a complicated mechanism, the inside of a grandfather clock. There's weights and there's a pendulum that swings back and forth that, it, that gives you that tick-tock, tick-tock sound. So that's what we're gonna draw next. So we need to do a window and we're gonna do a long line like this, come across and then bring that across. We're putting a rectangle inside a rectangle and then we're going to draw two lines that go down like this and stop and then we're going to put a circle at the bottom okay and then we'll put a line in the middle and this is the pendulum this is the thing that swings back and forth and back and forth that gives you that tick tock tick tock sound when you're listening to a clock now we have to do our mouse. Now our mouse is a triangle. I'm gonna do it here. And we're gonna cover over our clock like this. So it looks like he's coming up the clock, but we're gonna erase these lines inside that triangle we drew. Okay, like that. We're gonna put a circle for his nose and then two circles for the ears. We'll erase this line. Okay, we'll put two dots for his eyes. Okay, and a tail. So let's curve the tail out like this, okay? And there you have it. You have the mouse going up the clock. So take a Sharpie, outline all your pencil lines in black, and then you can color it. So I colored my background blue. You can do whatever you want. My clock was brown to look like brown wood. The pendulum is usually gold, so I used yellow, and I did a, a gray mouse with pink ears. 
And um, like I said, you can color this any way that you like. I colored it with crayons. You can use markers or colored pencils, whatever you have on hand. I can't wait to see how yours turns out and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.